What's going on everyone? Today we have an all new Uriah deck uh, that I built. So for those of you who don't know, Uriah Turbo is a thing, very niche uh, deck in Edison format. Not particularly good. Um, so I made my own version. I decided to just play this goofy build with like the Lightsworn Mill stuff to try to summon a 15,000 attack Uriah. Or, um, it's not that good, I'm going to be honest. In retrospect, I think that the remove brainwashing build that people typically do is probably just the best way of playing this, at least as of right now. But this build's a fun, goofy little thing you can do, I guess. Um, so you play the Light Sworn stuff to mill a bunch of continuous traps to get Uriah super big, of course. We play triple Uriah. It's like our only win con, so we have to play three. I play three Lila as well uh, with Trunade Cold Wave. You need some way to deal with back row so you can get your game shot. I only played two of this. I'm not even sure I would play any of this in here. I think, I don't know. It's weird. It's so good in Uriah. But it just didn't feel like it was good when I was drawing it. You know, I, I felt like I always needed my continuous traps. Because um, the game plan of this deck is just very quick. I don't know. Uh, Reincarn to get back Uriah is pretty neat. Rhoda and Charge just to search these guys. Um, we also play Glorious Illusion. It's a funny little uh, continuous card that brings back a Light Sworn monster. Uh, and Mills to an end phase. And a lot of the standard sort of Uriah traps. Play the Trap Monsters, play the Fiendish Chain, Skill Drain. While revealing light, gravity binds, imperial customs. I play. I ended up sticking in some like good stuff traps too because I felt like the deck needed them. So yeah, not not much intelligent going on here. We're just trying to sack. You know, it, it's how it is. So let's look at the replays and see what the heck happened. Uh, first one. I remember this one went poorly. I think. <laughs> spoilers, spoilers. So we go for the. Our opening hand's actually not that bad. This is not that bad at all. Our mills were kind of bad. We we needed to mill some continuous traps, and we just weren't. Uh, the opponent opts not to attack turn one, which was a big uh, mistake, because let our Lumina live way longer than she deserved to. So we flip skill drain when he summons D.Va. We use Fiendish to protect, Then he goes Gaia Knight. Here I kind of have to just drop the Uriah, go priority. Unfortunately, I missed the 50-50 here, and I hit the Mirror Force. If I'd hit the Wing Blast here, we'd actually have been in a really, really good spot, but I don't. So we get Giga punished by the Phoenix Wing, and that's the end of the game. I mean, we just we, we can't do anything from this point, so going to have to go next. Game two, our hand is legitimately really bad here. I mean, we, we're we bricked on um, a lot of stuff here. We need to draw more normal traps. Maybe I just should have set all three here or something. I probably should have just set all three here and hoped he didn't have heavy, because trying, trying to slow roll this really messed me up. So we just end phase. Yeah, and now we still can't summon Uriah here. And our opponent doesn't have a lot of defense either. Although they did draw Storm, so we're just going to, like, lose to Storm probably. Does... Okay, they're not using it yet. Hmm. They run over our guy. And again, we're just still not drawing the, the traps that we need. We go for the True Nade here. Not bad. We can out the guy. Get some more normal traps in Grave. But again, we still can't summon Uriah. Still can't summon Uriah, and then they storm me, and it's like, we still can't summon Uriah, though. Um, so, at this point, I just give up. So, pretty poor showing in that game. This game was a lot more interesting, I think. Uh, so, hopefully you stuck around for this one. Uh, this person was playing a cool Weladad type of list. Um, it was like Gravekeeper stuff. So, we just go for the mills here. Unfortunately, he's going to have the side row to get the free out on our monster. Here, we just go for Magic Planter, try to refresh our hand, and we draw some nice stuff. We're going to get some recharges off, and we can definitely win next turn. The only danger is if he has heavy, but I decided to just say fuck it, you know? It's kind of that kind of that sort of deck, you know? You just got to say fuck it and go for it. Um, skill Drain going to stop him from doing anything too crazy in main two. So here we go for Uriah, priority, pop the back row, and as you can see, this is an 11,000 attack Uriah. So it's going to hit over Sidra for 8,900. In retrospect, maybe I should have hit over this to play around Honest, but like, they're not playing Honest. I mean, in here, I was pretty sure, so. Pretty, pretty funny OTK there. Never seen a Uriah get that big, so definitely cool. We mill some normal traps here, which is nice. We have the skill drain to stop the hamster effect, which is good. Uh, we're going to have to play carefully. This game is a lot of back row. We go for the Glorious Illusion Magic Planter to draw some and to get the Skill Drain offline so I can build some more cards here and hopefully find a Uriah, but I don't. 
Fiendish is going to protect our guy, but poor Lumina getting banished by the Caius. Here we're going to get kind of low, I think. Yeah, we are indeed kind of low. The opponent has four back row. Not going to be easy to play in this. The planters are actually really good here. Hmm. So we go for the Lila Pop. Lucky for us, we hit something. They could have stopped that with Book of Moon, I guess. Hmm. But we're going to get the mills. Opponent's going to flip the Krebons, try to hit for game, but we have the Fiendish Chain to prevent ourselves from dying. They go for Stardust Main 2. We get out Zoma. Um, we flip our Imperial Customs, summon Uriah. Attack, but it's going to hit a Mirror Force, so... We're going to have to go to game number three here. Yeah, we kind of just had to go for it there. We The opponent drew way too much defense for us to play into, and our, our hand was too slow. So it's just how it was. Uh, we go set all our whole hand and just hope they don't have heavy. I felt like I drew a lot of these awkward hands where I didn't have custom or road or judgment or anything. Um, so I just had to, like, but again, the deck I'm playing just has to go for it. Fortunately for me, he goes Stardust here instead of Black Rose popping my whole field. I don't think I could have recovered from Black Rose popping my whole field. Then again, he doesn't know what my back row is, so it's like hard to say how he should have like played around stuff or played into stuff. Here, I'm thinking, okay, I can go Lila pop one and he'll negate it, then go Lila pop the other, and then reincarn back Lila pop the third one. Maybe that's an, an option. And... Um, I made a bit of a misplay going for Zoma in end phase. I should have tried to deal with the back row first, because now that since there's torrential, we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough continuous traps. However, my opponent makes a big screw up and forgets their Stardust in end phase, as you can see here. Would have been a bit more difficult of a situation had that not been the case. We have the skill drain, which is also nice. So with the wall revealing like skill drain, we're like able to potentially just stall for like a long, long time. Here we go for the Jane with Glorious Illusion. It gets bottomless. I guess they should probably have just taken bottomless out. I don't know. I guess it's good against Lila. So here I'm like, okay, we can go for Uriah priority and then Trunade. And we have like a what? A 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14,000 attack Uriah. So well, we pop the Power Wall and then we Trunade and then hit for 14,000 <laughs> over the Goyo Guardian. This was a goofy match. Definitely shows off uh, the sort of ceiling of the of this strategy. But uh, then again, I did conclude pretty obviously. I think the other Uriah builds a lot better. This is just like a, a goofy fun thing that you can do. So I don't necessarily recommend it. I don't recommend any Uriah deck if you're trying to be competitively viable though. So that is uh, that is the concluding thoughts of this uh, brief Uriah video essay. Hope you guys uh, thought it was cool. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.